What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are seeing the rumors of Trevor Reza getting inserted into a three-team deal to possibly land him on the Lakers and KCP is expected to be part of the trade and going to the third team that starts to jump in into this three-team deal. Real quick guys before I discuss these even more I'm doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers so if you have not subscribed already Please make sure to do so. Let's try to reach 3,000 subscribers before the end of 2019. Let's make that our goal. But anyway, Markel Fultz uh, and the Sixers, you know, are just destined to move on eventually. Now, this may be a little bit too much, but I don't know who else is going to give up a lot for Markel Fultz in his current situation. So, we're going to make this trade go through. Markel Fultz is on the Suns. We're going to be rebuilding the Suns today. Reese is on the Lakers. And KCP goes to the Sixers. Obviously, it has declined. But we're going to make it go through. And I'm going to turn trade override off. And then we're going to go ahead and rebuild the Suns now. So uh, they're 4-22, and which is absolutely terrible. But I'm going to send Mark Hill Fultz to Julie this first season just because he might not even play this season just because he's still dealing with his shoulders. So we're going to pretend, you know, basically he comes back and goes to Julie, whatever. Uh, anyway, literally they're starting. I'm just going to leave the rotation as it is. I'm just going to not even mess with it. Like they can do their thing, I guess. And uh, we'll just see how it goes for the rest of the season. I guess the CP's got to rebuild him anyway. TJ Warren, yes, definitely deserves to start. Okobo, Devin Booker, Warren, Mirza Toledovich, Aiden Crawford, Rashawn Holmes, Mikhail Bridges, and uh, Josh Jackson. Um, do I want to go ahead and send... I can't send Mikhail Bridges to the G League as well, so that kind of sucks. So let's go ahead and send him to the end of the season, and uh, we'll see how this Phoenix Suns team finishes out. Not expecting a whole lot. So at the end of the season, we go a great record of 14 and 68. That is probably the worst record I've seen on 2K. And the Suns are just so bad this season. And I just remember watching everyone or uh, listening to everyone say that Suns should make a jump this season because they have uh, Kobe and Shaq 2.0, which is going to take a while for them to progress together. But still, 14 wins according to 2K is just terrible. And it looks like Fultz uh, is going to be jumping up to an 80 overall. So we have our starting point guard this next coming season. That is a good thing to uh, look forward to, though. So, also going to reject all these, of course. And we should have... We, should, we have our pick, right? If we don't have our pick, I'm going to be upset. Okay, we do. So, we should obviously get the number one pick. And we do. So, number one pick goes to us. Awesome stuff. Staff signing. Um, Igor Kokoskov. I'm going to fire him. Just, I mean... 14 wins, it's just not good. It's not good. It's just not. It's not going to cut it here in Phoenix. I am the new GM here, and I want a good coach. So, number one pick overall, and we have a the second-round pick also, and the Sixers. Six. So, we basically have two first-round picks, if you ask me. So, um, what do I need to need? What do I need to add to this team? I'm not sure. Maybe we could get uh, Zion Williamson. Obviously, we could go for him, which uh, he should... Should we go R.J. Barrett or Zion Williamson? Which one should we get? So, uh, I think I'm going to go Zion Williamson here. Just because. Zion Williamson is uh, the clear, clearly a beast. Super athletic. Athletic freak. 83 overall. This is going to go Zion Williamson here right away. And then uh, they took uh, Louis King, which I'm going to go ahead and actually you know take sign him as well. And then player options, just, or Josh Jackson, definitely going to decline Ryan Anderson. And then uh, qualifying offers, nine. And then uh, this is where we get into cap holds, retired jerseys. Cool stuff. I didn't mean to look at that, though. Uh, sorry, cap table. So we got negative 23 million cap space for now, but I'm sure there is some cap holds holding us back. I don't need to bring back Dragon Bender or Ryan Anderson. And uh, so let me look at the roster now. So we have the uh, number one pick with Zion Williamson here. We got Markel Fultz, who's going to start the point guard this year, or should anyway. And then uh, Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges coming off the bench for him. TJ Warren, Josh Jackson, Louis King, probably going to send him to the G League, Zion Williamson, and DeAndre and Rashawn Holmes. So basically, we have a starting five, if you ask me. But in the tough Western Conference, this isn't good enough. What we got, it's not. So we're going to have to probably go best available out here because this is the Western Conference. We need some, you know, we only have 16 million cast space, though. I'm not sure if I can change that at all. I might be able to. Who is expensive on this roster? TJ Warren's expensive, but I love me some TJ Warren. He's not bad at all. Josh Jackson. Is it too early to give up on him? I I think it could be. 
Uh, what could Josh Jackson get us out here, though? I don't know. Let's just see what he's worth. So, Valentine, Marcus Moore Sr. off the bench, and Robert Williams. Is that a little too crazy? Buddy Heald and Harry Giles. And, oh, we have to give them a first-round pick. So, we are getting some good offers here, actually. Which So, Josh Jackson, it might be a little too early to give up on him, but I might end up doing it. I really like this trade because Marcus Morris off the bench would be you know, really nice to have uh, behind Zion Williamson. We just give up a second round pick and we get Robert Williams, who I'm going to go ahead and move to center. And uh, we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do is try to get a first round pick out of Boston and I'll give them a late first rounder. So what about that? Two second round picks and they give me Aaron Baines as well. I That's fine with me. So we get a Boston unprotected first round pick and we get give they get an unprotected 2023. So basically we get a first round pick out of it as well. Uh, Marcus Morris Sr., Robert Williams. Yep, we're going to go ahead and make this trade go through. Marcus Morris Sr. is going to be nice off the bench. He is nice off the bench in real life. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and move uh, Sean, where is he? Robert Williams to center. How tall is this dude? 6'10", definitely going to be center. But he's going to go to G League this season. So Louis King is going to go to G League as well, if I have anything to say about it. But uh, And then Aaron Baines, I'm probably going to flip you right away. That way I have that money to do whatever with so 76ers and then uh we have uh 18 mil so we i mean we gave us gave ourselves a little bit more cap space uh to do something devin booker Mikel bridges tj warren uh zion Williams, marcus moore senior you know to me he's more of a small forward so i'm gonna go ahead, i'm gonna go ahead and move into small forward so he's gonna be our backup small forward basically and then uh power forward still kind of a need and then rashawn robert williams rashawn hope's gonna back, serve as the backup center this year and uh, we have, so let's see what's out there. Let's just see what's out there. Backup or starting point guard. I kind of want to get Spencer Dinwiddie on this team because I think he would be nice. He could either come off the bench or start. I don't even care at this point. But, uh, you know, off the bench, Spencer Dinwiddie, I think would be kind of nice to have. So three year, you know, $12 million deal. Let's do that. Three years, 12 mil a season. And then uh, what else we got? Power forwards out here. What do we got for power forwards? Bobby Portis would be also kind of nice to have and then I saw Rudy Gay up here he wants it's not bad Rudy Gay that's not a bad offer at all three years seven mil for two years Rudy Gay so we get Spencer okay uh, we, we can't get both of them I'd rather have Spencer Dinwiddie though and uh, then uh, power forward let's go back to the power forward position uh, Meritage Zach Randolph Jeff Green Kenneth Fareed Mike Scott, Trey Lyles. Ooh, I, I would I would be fine with some Trey Lyles. One year deal for Trey Lyles. We'll do that. And then uh, Trey Lyles is yeah. All right, so that's cool. All right, now I think we got our team for this season. Don't really expect much. Obviously, just want this team to progress a little bit, and then we'll move and we'll see what goes on from there. But Zion Williamson's going to be a huge contributor to his team. T.J. Warren, Markel Fultz, Spencer Dinwiddie off the bench, and then Marcus Moore Senior off the bench. Mikael Bridges off the bench. Very yeah, I really like this team. really like how this team is looking. So we're going to send Robert Williams and Louis King to the G League. We're going to try to anyway. And then I should see you guys at the end of next season. I don't know if we're going to make the playoffs or not, but uh, it's still possible. But I'm going to see you guys at the end of next season. All right, at the trade deadline, we're going to try to execute this trade and get Chris Middleton here. And they agree with this trade. So we get Chris Middleton to start at the three for us now. So that should be... All nice and dandy. So we got Chris Milton to start at the three. So it makes our team a little bit better. We're two games out of 500. So, I mean, this team, like I said, is uh, it's not doing too bad. It's not uh, not that bad at all. But I'm just going to run a nine-man rotation now. No need to have J.R. Smith in the rotation. We just got rid of T.J. Warren, who, you know what, is really good, and Trey Lyles. So I uh, no disrespect to T.J. Warren. I just wanted to kind of. Uh, and Mikel Bridges is not doing so good for whatever reason. But I'm going to go ahead. Keep simulating. Hopefully, we can make the playoffs. I'll see you guys in the season. So, after the trade for Chris Middleton, we barely made it into the playoffs, which, you know what, is a W for this team. In a tough Western Conference, this is a good thing. So, basically, this offseason, I'm probably not going to change anything at all. I think all my players are on good contracts. We're going to get two players back from the G League. And, uh, yeah, so our rotation is going to be pretty darn good, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and just simulate these playoffs. Uh, you guys already saw the stats. Uh, really should get eliminated probably here. I don't expect us to beat the Warriors, but you know what? You know, 2K could shock me. And we're going to actually upset the Warriors, it looks like. We're up 3-2 on them. 
and we beat the Warriors in seven games. So what am I saying? Maybe we're going to win the playoffs this year. That would be insane if we won the championship as an eighth seed. But you know what? Crazier things have been possible. So let's go ahead and see if we can upset the whole Western Conference here. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Uh, we're down 2-0 to start the series. But you know what? We're at home now. So uh, maybe, just maybe, 2K is ready to give me the dubs here. 39 points the first quarter. You can't go back from that. You can't come back from that. Just kidding. They did. Okay. Down 3-0. So maybe this year isn't our year. We beat the Warriors. That is a good step. That is a great step. We beat the Warriors in the first round. How can you not say that's a good step? So if we can win one game over the Nuggets, that would be just great. Okay. 124-133. DeAndre Ayton beasted it up. And now we got to get through the Nuggets next year. So that's going to be a challenge in it, in itself. So let's go uh, mess with these again. And hopefully uh, we can, yeah, we're not going to be able to do it this year, which is all right. Like I said, there's always next year. This team is going to progress even more. Don't expect to change much. We're going to get players from the Julie coming back who's going to be on some good progression. So I'm going to have an interesting... I don't know what I'm going to do with the rotation, so I'm going to have an interesting time there. But the Raptors and the Nuggets in the finals, which, you know what, wouldn't be a bad NBA finals to watch. But, guys, like I said, I don't really expect to change much. Um, just going to go ahead and reject all of this. Just going to take you guys straight to uh, the G League. Not to the G League. We got uh, Pacers. We got the 18th pick. You know what, that's not a big deal. Staff signing. I'm just going to go ahead and keep our pick. Or go ahead and keep the coach we have. NBA draft rookie signing. They sign or they drafted Killian Hayes with Whoa, 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 whoa. We had the eighth pick. I'm so dumb. I didn't see we had the eighth pick. And they drafted Josh Green. I just went through it too quick. I didn't realize we had the eighth pick. I would have done a little, a little bit more with that. Uh Robert Williams, we're gonna go and accept him, accept him. So the depth on this team is about to be crazy. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't. So we could probably make a big trade here actually with all the assets that we have just a ton of Josh Green and Kelvin Hayes Killian Hayes just a lot of assets so I don't know who we're gonna go for but um, we got Markel Fultz starting at the point guard right now uh, Devin Booker the shooting guard Chris Milton at the small four position uh, and then Zion Williamson and DeAndre Aiden down low we could even probably package Chris Middleton to get someone else and that someone else is in my mind. Now, I don't know if this is going to be possible, but I'm going to try it anyway. Giannis Antetokounmpo. I doubt this is going to work, but you know what? We're going to try. I've never tried to trade for Giannis. This is probably not going to work, but you know what? It's worth a shot. So I'm just going to throw all of the first round picks I got and then all and then my two assets this year. What do we got? Kellen, Kellen, Killian Hayes and Josh Green. Just all for Giannis Antetokounmpo. I don't know if they're going to accept this. They don't. Okay. All right. What about... I'm just going to go for some of the hardest players to trade for. Kevin Durant would be interesting to grab also. Condi Towns. Uh, DeRozan. James Harden. That's not going to work. Uh, what about... Russell Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard for all these guys. They still don't accept. Okay. So, like I said, a lot of these guys are impossible to trade for. It's just interesting. Anthony Davis declines the wave as no trade clause. Okay. Who knows if they would accept that or not. Uh, Oladipo, Jokic. I, I bet we could get Jokic, but LeBron James, obviously, probably not. Okay. Um, no, but realistically, I think I got someone in mind I want to go for. And uh, it's probably not going to take that much. Where is he? He's on the Thunder, and his name is Paul George. So let's see if we can get Paul George from the Thunder for... Josh Green and this guy as well. Where is he? Because I'm not going to be able to use these guys really. So Paul George, Chris Milton, straight up. We're not interested. So yeah, they're going to accept this. So first round pick, still not interested. Another first rounder. I could even probably. Uh, what? If, okay. What about if I threw in one more player? Um, Rashawn Holmes. Not interested still. Okay. What about one more first round pick? They're still not interested. Okay. So it came really close. Just not getting it done. Robert Williams. Mikel Bridges. Okay, they still don't want to do it. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. Okay, they agree. So we get Paul George on the roster. So Paul George is going to be the starting small forward. Interesting. Markel Fultz, Akobo, Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges, Paul George, Marcus Morris Sr. Louis King is still here. 
uh, small forward. Uh, we could probably package him as well. Aiton and Robert Williams for Sean Holmes. So we probably need a better backup point guard now. I don't think we have any cap space to work with. Probably not. So no. Okay. So we got to use the trade market again. Uh, point guard. Point guard. Point guard. So we need a better backup point guard than what we got. So I'm not going to go for anyone too crazy. This is like a Patrick Beverly would do. I'm going to try to go for a younger guy though. Point guard. Colin Sexton. Kyrie Irving. Shea Gilgis. Alexander. Trey Young. Uh, Alfred Payton. Alfred Payton would do, honestly. I would be fine with Alfred Payton. Uh, just going to go ahead and trade them. Nah, actually not Alfred Payton. Let's go for somebody else. Uh, do we even need a backup point guard now I think about it? Do we have backups everywhere? So, uh, Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges, Paul George, Marcus Moore Sr., Louis King, Zion Williamson, DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, so basically we have backups everywhere uh, besides a backup point guard, backup center. Uh, so we do need it. We do kind of need a backup point guard. So let's go... Garland, Bruno Fernando, Juwan Evans. Just a 78 overall would do like Quinn Cook. Let's just go to Quinn Cook. Let's do that. Rashawn Holmes, straight up for Quinn Cook. Okay, they just want a second round pick. Let's do it. All right, so Quinn Cook's going to be our backup point guard this year. So just like that, we upgraded to Paul, George, Marcus. Mo yep, I really like this roster. I think we should do some nice things, hopefully anyway. I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of next season where hopefully... We're a very, you know, nice team in the Western Conference. Paul George goes down to a B. But other than that, looking good, looking really good. So, really like how this team is looking. Like I said, I'm going to simulate to the end of next season, and uh, hopefully we can make a nice playoff run. All right, after trading for Paul George, we have a 55-27 and 27 record on the season. Turning the Suns around in three seasons, awesome stuff. Devin Booker, 20 points per game. DeAndre Ayton, Paul George only averaged 15 points per game. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat the Lakers in the first round. We're up on 0 to start the series. Can we go up 2-0? We do. 3-0? And can we sweep the Lakers with LeBron on it? No, we can't. They're going to win one more game. But we're going to go ahead and beat them. We already beat the Warriors, so not scared of the Warriors. And then we got the Spurs now. So I think we can beat the Spurs. Hopefully we match up against the Nuggets because I want to get some revenge for them beating us. But it looks like we're going to have to take on the Rockets. And we do. So the Rockets. Houston Rockets now. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat the Houston Rockets. Um, we're up 1-0 to start the series. We're up 2-0. Are we going to win a championship in this video? This is going to be an amazing ending. 4-1. And we get home. Oh, wait. Filled up. Yeah, we get home court advantage, baby. Home court advantage goes to us. So let's see if we can do it here in the NBA Finals. 2-1. 3-1. 3-2. 3-3. And we won a championship in seven games. Let's go. Phoenix Suns is back and bad and forever. You know what I'm trying to say. We won a championship. That's how you do it. But anyways, guys, I thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. That's Crushables, and I'm saying peace.